Hello and welcome. This presentation introduces the Irish Water Quality Assurance process for self-lay residential developments in the construction phase. All personnel involved in self-lay developments must be familiar with the Irish Water Technical Guidance documents and the contents of the connection agreement. It is mandatory for developers of all residential developments who require a connection to the Irish Water Network to have a valid Irish Water Connection Agreement in place. The developer must notify Irish Water of their intention to begin work and attend a meeting with an Irish Water field engineer before any work begins. The Irish Water Quality Assurance process covers both design and construction. It was developed from lessons learned from the taking in charge process for legacy developments, particularly relating to poor workmanship during construction, insufficient testing and inspection, a lack of technical guidance documents, appropriate sign off at completion stage and the provision of adequate as built records and easements where required. The Irish Water Quality Assurance process will help future proof water services by using best practices from around the world. These best practices will help ensure cost avoidance and leakage reduction and raise industry standards and site workmanship. We can only do this by working in collaboration with all stakeholders, particularly developers and the construction industry. We will introduce the Irish Water Quality Assurance process across the following areas. Pre-construction, points of contact, roles and responsibilities, health and safety, quality assurance records, site inspections, prerequisites before connection, metering requirements, and finally, connection to the Irish Water Network. This chapter summarises what must be in place before the construction of water services on self-lay developments begin. The connection agreement is a legal contract between Irish Water and the developer. It calls out the quality assurance process set out in the Irish Water technical documents. It also records the design of the pipework, which has been agreed with Irish Water as part of the connection application process. There should be no changes to the approved design without prior approval from Irish Water. Before the pre-construction meeting takes place, the design must be vetted and accepted by Irish Water. The developer must receive a connection offer from Irish Water. The developer must have signed and returned the connection agreement to Irish Water and made full payment, including any specified self-lay surety. Any required arterial easements, as referred to in the special conditions section of the connection offer, should be provided to Irish Water. Arterial easements are required where a development is connecting to the Irish Water networks by way of infrastructure which is not owned by or vested in Irish Water, referred to as arterial pipes. Arterial easements where required should be provided to Irish Water as part of the acceptance criteria for the connection offer and to avoid delays in connections to the networks at a later stage. The developer must be familiar with the contents of the connection agreement and must comply with its requirements. The Irish Water technical guidance documents are given to the developer on a USB stick when the connection agreement is issued. The documents are Codes of practice for water and wastewater Standard details for water and wastewater Irish Water Quality Assurance Field Manual Irish Water Quality Assurance Design Manual these documents are also available on the Irish Water website, on the Technical Guidance section of the Developer Services webpage. Irish Water recommends that all personnel involved with the development are familiar with the codes of practice and standard details documents. When the developer is ready to begin works, they must complete and submit a commencement notice to Irish Water. This is provided with the connection agreement. The developer must submit this notice to Irish Water at least 10 working days ahead of the start of self-lay works. Irish Water has a team of field engineers who inspect developments with a connection agreement. A field engineer will be assigned to each site. The developer must request a pre-construction meeting with the field engineer and key personnel to discuss the site-specific details. This meeting can be arranged via email at developerscheduling at water.ie or by contacting the Irish Water Call Centre on 0818 238 239. The developer is asked to record minutes of the meeting. These minutes should be sent to the field engineer and to the key personnel on the site. 
the developer is asked to provide the field engineer with a hard copy of the drawings detailing the proposed water service works. During the site pre-construction meeting, the field engineer will review the specifics of the project with the developer and key personnel. The developer is required to outline the sequence of the construction programme and any phasing requirements during the meeting. The developer should provide a planned connection date at this meeting. This is important so that Irish Water's delivery partner can apply to the Roads Authority for a road opening licence if required. This process can take a number of weeks. If a temporary connection is required, the developer should have submitted a temporary connection application to Irish Water. The developer should point out any complexities to the field engineer. Where a development is connecting to the Irish Water Networks through infrastructure which is not owned by or vested in Irish Water, referred to as the arterial pipes, the developer will need to procure an arterial easement in Irish Water's standard form from the owner of the arterial pipes as part of the acceptance criteria for the connection offer and satisfy Irish Water that the arterial pipes are in an adequate state of repair and can carry the relevant additional loads from the new development. Any remedial works will be required to be carried out by the developer. The need for an arterial easement generally arises where new development is connecting through an existing development which has not yet been taken in charge by the relevant local authority. The delivery of an executed arterial deed of easement and satisfaction of any technical requirements will be strict preconditions to the connection of the development to the networks. During the construction phase, there are a number of key personnel who have a role in ensuring the successful delivery of the water services infrastructure within the development. Each of these personnel has specific roles and responsibilities. The key personnel are the developer, the developer's construction engineer, the developer's design engineer, and the Irish Water Field Engineer. When submitting the commencement notice and before work starts on site, the developer must appoint a design engineer and a construction engineer. Irish Water strongly recommends that they are fully aware of their roles and responsibilities in the quality assurance process and that they attend the pre-construction meeting. The developer is the proposer of the works. They must ensure that the connection agreement is returned to Irish Water and that all relevant payments and sureties are paid in full. The developer must also submit the commencement notice to Irish Water when ready to commence works on site, request the pre-construction meeting with the field engineer, Appoint a construction engineer and a design engineer. Ensure the works comply with requirements set out in the connection agreement. Ensure that the site personnel cooperate with the field engineer. Ensure that the field engineer has access to the site to inspect works and quality assurance records. Arrange for way leaves and easements that need to be provided to Irish Water. Issue the final documents to Irish Water. Appoint a person to provide sign off confirming that the development complies with the work set out in the connection agreement. This includes all testing and commissioning. The construction engineer is the developer's representative on site. They are generally responsible for making contact with the field engineer. The construction engineer should also request the attendance of the field engineer for inspections, ensure that all personnel on site cooperate with the field engineer, Ensure compliance with the Irish Water Codes of Practice and Standard details. Prepare an inspection and test plan in line with Irish Water's requirements. Forward the inspection and test plan to the field engineer for review. Maintain the site as built and quality assurance records. The nominated design engineer is responsible for liaising with the Irish Water Design Engineering Team in case there needs to be any revisions made to the accepted design before or during construction. The developer's design engineer is the point of contact for any design queries from the construction engineer. The field engineer is Irish Water's representative responsible for assessing and inspecting the works and is the developer's point of contact in Irish Water during the construction stage. The field engineer will also inspect works during construction, witness testing and commissioning, conduct a walk-off inspection with the developer and once works are complete review the final documents, Approve the connection to the Irish Water Network. Authorise the issue of the conformance certificate by Irish Water. Monitor the development during the defect liability period. Authorise the issue of the completion certificate by Irish Water. Irish Water expects to see good health and safety practice on all sites and will not enter any sites which they deem to be unsafe.
all sites that Irish Water attend must provide a site induction. Field engineers will not enter confined spaces or manholes. For example, when carrying out an air pressure test on a sewer, the tube from the air test kit must extend from the pipe in the manhole to ground level. This will avoid the field engineer having to enter the manhole. The field engineer will not inspect any works which they deem to be unsafe and will report anything unsafe to the appropriate person on site. The field engineer will only enter sites which they deem to be compliant with health and safety legislation and protocols. Maintenance of accurate as-built records is a requirement of the Irish Water Quality Assurance process. The field engineer will provide a quality assurance folder to the construction engineer. This will contain as-built records concerning the water and wastewater infrastructure. The construction engineer must maintain this folder and ensure the records are up to date and correct. The quality assurance folder must be available for the field engineer to inspect when they visit the site. Records maintained in this folder can be used to compile the final documents at the end of the project. The quality assurance folder should contain records of all test results as per Irish Water's requirements. All tests must be signed by the appropriate person. All material specifications. As built drawings and photographs. The construction engineer should take photos of the works as it progresses. They should also record the date and location of the photo. Up to date calibration certificates for all plant and equipment. The connection agreement. An up to date record of relevant site personnel training. For example, water hygiene training or a welding operative training certificate. Once construction begins, site inspections, both scheduled and unscheduled, are carried out by the field engineer to check for compliance with Irish water standards. These inspections may be to monitor works in progress, witness testing, or to conduct a walk-off inspection. An inspection and test plan should be prepared by the developer's construction engineer. The inspection and test plan should be prepared in line with the testing and commissioning requirements outlined in the Irish Water Codes of Practice for both water and wastewater. The inspection and test plan should be forwarded to the field engineer for review. It should include the proposed dates and sequence for testing on site. This will enable the developer and the assigned field engineer to plan their work schedule. Irish Water must be given a minimum of five days notice before any testing so that the field engineer can witness the test if required. The field engineer can request a retest of any part of the works if they are not satisfied with the test result or if they were not given enough notice of a test. The construction engineer should arrange batch tests where possible to minimise the number of visits the field engineer has to make to the site. Call the Irish Water Call Centre on 0818 238 239 or email developerscheduling at water.ie to book an appointment with the assigned field engineer. Bookings are generally made by the construction engineer. There are a number of tests and inspections required on each site. All results must be recorded in the quality assurance folder. For the wastewater network, tests will include an initial trench inspection, infiltration and exfiltration tests, these tests will be carried out in the first manhole plus a sample quantity, depending on the size of the development. Irish Water can request that every manhole is tested. An air pressure test for all sewer lines between manholes, including service connections as far as the inspection chamber. Pipeline water tests. Pressure tests on foul rising mains. Testing and commissioning of pump stations. CCTV surveys, manhole condition surveys, and finally, a walk-off inspection. For the water network, tests and inspections will include an initial trench inspection, an initial weld audit, a dummy weld is needed before any polyethylene pipe is installed. During water main installation, other test welds need to be taken from the works and sent away to an independent lab for destructive testing. Pressure testing, which must be carried out on the network and include testing of the service connection pipes, swabbing, chlorination, dechlorination and water quality testing. And finally, a walk-off inspection. A non-conformance notice will be issued by the field engineer to the developer, construction engineer and design engineer when a non-conformance or failed test is found on site.
the developer will have five days to respond to the notice, detailing what remedial works will be carried out. The field engineer will then conduct a close-out inspection to ensure compliance with codes of practice. Irish Water have a full suite of technical guidance documents, including a library of toolbox talks which address common non-conformances, which are available on the Irish Water website. Some of the most common non-conformances include non-compliant materials, separation distances, non-compliant bedding and backfill material, contaminated pipes, poorly constructed valve chambers and manholes, damaged materials, issues relating to way leaves and easements. The construction of all water services on self-lay developments must be inspected by Irish Water. Any works that have been constructed but not inspected by Irish Water will be subject to special conditions. These special conditions may include trial holes, slit trenches and testing. Non-compliant work will require remediation by the developer to comply with Irish Water requirements. Before connection to the network, the developer must submit the final documentation. They must also accompany the field engineer while they conduct the walk-off inspection. The developer is required to submit all final documentation as outlined in section 1.7 of the Water Codes of Practice and 1.8 of the Wastewater Codes of Practice to the field engineer for review. These can typically be compiled by the records held in the Quality Assurance folder. A checklist outlining the minimum requirements for as-constructed drawings is included on the USB stick issued with each connection offer. Following a satisfactory review of the final documents, the field engineer will carry out a walk-off inspection of the site with the developer. If the works are in order, the connection will be authorised to be made by Irish Water's delivery partner. A conformance certificate will be issued to the developer by Irish Water. If there are minor issues found on site, a defects report will be issued to the developer. The issues will then need to be rectified. Boundary boxes and bulk meter chambers are provided and installed by the developer. Irish Water's delivery partner will supply and fit all water meters required for developments. The requirements for installation of water meters and associated chambers are outlined in section 3.15 of the Water Codes of Practice. Before a connection is made to the network, the developer must submit a bulk upload form to Irish Water. This enables Irish Water to create water point reference numbers, also known as WP or Ns, for all units paid in the connection agreement. The coordinates must be to Irish National Grid and the addresses provided must be the same as agreed with the planning authority. A bulk upload form is available in the appendices of the self-lay agreement or can be requested from Irish Water. All meter chamber infrastructure, kiosks, pipework and spool pieces shall be installed by the developer. Irish Water's delivery partner will supply and install the meters after the development is connected to the Irish Water network. Following completion of the works, satisfactory inspection of the final documents and a walk-off inspection, Irish Water will authorise the connection to the network. The connection to the Irish Water network is made by Irish Water's delivery partner. Once Irish Water's delivery partner are notified that the connection can be made, they will endeavour to connect within 20 working days. The defects liability period for the development will begin when the conformance certificate is issued. Once the conformance certificate issues, the water and wastewater services infrastructure which has been installed by the developer is vested in Irish Water. However, pending the subsequent issuance of the completion certificate, at the end of the defects liability period, the developer will remain responsible for the operation and maintenance of any pumping stations and or rising mains serving the development. The defects liability period generally lasts for a minimum of 12 months, but may be longer in certain circumstances. The field engineer may continue to carry out inspections of the site during the defects liability period. Any defects identified are required to be rectified by the developer. At the end of the defects liability period, a final walk-off inspection will be carried out by the field engineer with the developer. If the works are found to be satisfactory, with all required remedial works completed, the completion certificate will be issued and any self-lay surety paid by the developer will be returned, subject to any applicable deductions. Thank you for your time. For further information, please visit the Irish Water website.